Hello again everybody. Oh, just touched my camera there. Uh, this is Morris from Morris Mini Motors. Um, I'm inside the shop today. It's raining outside and I really need to get this video out of the way. Um, today we have a OS 160 Twin. Um, this one is for a customer in Germany. He had the engine, had the kit, set it all up. He wasn't happy with the performance, so he sent it over to me to have a look at it to see if anything is wrong with the kit or the engine. So, send it over to me. I took the engine out, put it on the bench. First thing I would check is the timing. The timing was set at 20 degrees before TDC, so it wouldn't have much power, so that was incorrect. Needs to set the timing at 30 degrees before TDC. Um, the carburetor, as you can see there, up, perfect. The carburetor, again, um, I'm using the same carburetor I was on the engines before. The heat space, as you could see, between the blue bit and the carb, that was installed incorrectly, so the pump on the carb would not work either. So I'm just going to point that out in a bit more details now. So um, Regular stuff, ignition, RTXL, 6 volts up to 12V. Um, battery I'm running on to power the system is a... On brand, uh, 1700 milliamp, 6.6V, very good for servo setup as well. Um, fuel mix is 20 to 1. Um, so these are the uh, two sets of carb that I use on all my conversions. This one is the WT carb, this one is the uh, small inventory carb from RCGF engines. Works pretty good. Um, this is just a uh, Another OS engine, this one is 2240 and the 300T, that will fit both of them. I just have that there, a little demonstration. So, on these two carbs, I'm going to remove this heat spacer and the gasket. Perfect. So, put the gasket there, try to make this video as quick as possible. So, bottom gasket, heat spacer, top gasket. On top, you can see a hole, two holes on this carb. This one is blank blocked off this one is the collects the pulse from the intake of the engine and activate the diaphragm to help pump the fuel this one for rcgf same but this one have one pulse hole as you can see there and that will help pump the fuel to the engine if you install you, know, you see machine groove in there to sit over that pulse hole if you install that like that incorrectly basically it will not pump um, like that. Notice the holes on the front, the heat spacer grooves is in the back. That would be blocking the, the pulse hole um, of the carb. If you do the same thing on that, that's what will happen as well. So when you get um, the kit, I do install everything before I ship the kit off and take my time and do it. So that's installed like that. Um, then you put that spacer on, then you put that on top. And usually what I do, um, most times, I put a bit of nail varnish on the carb, up to the heat spacer, and up to the um, carb manifold. And in that case, when you take this apart to install it onto the engine, you kind of match back the paint so you know exactly which side the heat spacer goes so it doesn't have the problem of blocking the pulse pump on the carburetor. So, enough of the talking, let's give the engine a run up and the way it goes. Um, prop I'm running, it's a APC 18.8, idles between 13 and 1500, top RPM I'm seeing with this prop at the moment we speak is 71 on the top end. Transition is pretty good. So, engine is very cold, I've been running for a couple of days because I was very busy, so give it a little primed up, two, three flips of the prop because the fuel is already on the fuel line already, so it doesn't take much to start this engine. These are one of the very, very easy engines to get going. So, switch on the power. We've done four minutes of talking already. Let's give it a shot and see where it goes.
don't need to burn the excess fuel that I primed up, so give it a little red up. Okay, everybody, um, nine minutes long video, I wasn't expecting to make it that long, but um, yeah, I'm gonna upload this now onto my YouTube channel, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more great videos to come, I have quite a few more videos um, to come, I'll post it on Facebook and YouTube as well, so, trays, and uh, get in touch if you need any more info on setting up your kit as well, I do one-on-one -on -one, um, conversation on the phone, or WhatsApp message, or however you want to contact me. Um, cheers, bye.